Hello everybody, our dance here, and welcome back to. Yeah, thank you so much, Miharu. <laughs> welcome back to Sky Full of Stars. So let's continue with the game, guys. Come on. Yeah, the last time, as you remember, we have a little moment with Corona, right? We were helping her choosing a form. A Samsung one or a Apple one, yeah. <laughs> and well, we are here in the secret observatory because we are cleaning up that place. So let's get into it, come on. Yeah, come on, Corona. <laughs> when she was a kid. Yeah, come on. Oh, Corona. Mm, so your astronomy club used to meet here. Mm, yeah, I remember that. They're talking about the Mikazuki Astronomy Club. Yeah, mm hmm. Come on. Corona seems to take a keen interest in the old train car. Our little cleanup had already come a long way and the place didn't bear much resemblance to its older look. Mm, I don't remember she has been here ever, because her mother never gave her permission to hang out with you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. Here, we were again in our little secret hideout. Yeah. <laughs> look at this part! Looks like she's uh, grabbing Hikari's hair! Yeah, look at this! <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. This place had been sacred to us, and we had never allowed even Corona to come out here before. Finally coming out here must have been a pretty emotional event for her. Mm. Alright, got you. Yeah. It's nothing that impressive, really. Yeah, look at this place, it's so messed up! This place used to seem really cool once upon a time, but these days I didn't see much more than a rusty old train. Yeah. And look at all this fucking mess. It was all busted up and dusty, with winds creeping in from every crack and hole. The only thing here worth anything at all would have been our observation journal. Mm, yeah. Compared to that, everything else was just a bunch of junk. <laughs> Oh yeah, because you couldn't hang out with us in the past. She had probably always wondered why we never let her be part of our group, even though we were just a year apart. It was because of her mother, come on! We never had a satisfying answer for her back then, though. I mean, her mother never gave her permission to hang out with you guys. Do you remember that? Come on! Uh, anyway... Yeah. Corona was a bit lost in her thoughts, but Hikari asked her question anyway. Mm, oh. Alright. Hikari had never been too easy on Corona. Mm, well, so far, I think you are right, Akito. She was always telling her to decide things for herself. Oh, okay. And it looked like that was something that hadn't changed. Alright. What do you say, girl? Mm, well, you're part of the club, girl. So don't worry. <laughs> That's why she wanted to get a phone. Oh. Who even knows how she managed to get in touch with Orihime today to come out here and help? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, she's part of the club right now. What the hell? It's isn't necessary to have a phone, but, well, it's necessary because you have to get in touch with all the members. Yeah, but, come on, she's a member too. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, come on. I had never expected we'd be back out at this train again. But here we were again, just like old times. I guess it's not exactly the same as before, but still, it felt familiar enough. <laughs> oh, look at this pig, it's really beautiful, look! Uh, what are you doing, girl? Are you writing your name with this little rock? 
Yeah, but look at this pig, it's really beautiful, look! Wow! Yeah... Well, the bad thing about this pig is the train, look at this, it looks pretty dusty and dirty. But anyway... Oh my god! I love this! Come on! She used a rock to carve her name into the wall of the train. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew it, yeah. The peeling paint gave way under the rock, showing the metal underneath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. I'm pretty sure we just used markers. We didn't go crazy and curve up the walls. Mm -hmm. Alright. Even if it was permanent marker, the years probably weathered it away into nothing but a memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the names we wrote back then would never show themselves on these walls again. Oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, her name, Corona Kusakabe. Oh? That had come from a voice I wasn't expecting to hear. Yeah. Yeah, what is it, girl? What? Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> that name, yeah, I remember that. Oh my god! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, girl. Yeah, you're right. Nope, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that weird shit, okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, Corona took me, took the stone in her hand again, but stopped. <laughs> oh? Uh, look at this girl. Here in the text says how you spell Merope. Yeah. Ah, sorry guys, okay, that's a bad joke. Not quite the problem I was anticipating. Oh. Alright, we finished already. <laughs> okay, Akito said to Corona how to spell Merope, right? Yeah, anyway. We finished up our cleaning and hit outside. It gets dark out pretty quick this time of year, so we should probably head back. We'd load all the boxes of yank onto the cup we brought with us. Mm. Now we just got to bring it back down with us. Mm, Alright. Oh, that's cool. Awesome, thanks, Orihime. Great. 15 minutes was nothing compared to how much on a pain it would have been to push the cards the whole way. Mm, yeah. Yeah, me too, girl. Yeah. I want to eat some sandwiches, you know? And um, Saya, would you prepare some. <laughs> because I remember that part, you know, it's so cute when she said cocoa in the first episode. <laughs> oh, she's so so beautiful, so kawaii. Yeah, come on. Yeah, nah, yeah, come on. She said by looking plainly my way. Oh yeah, because I think Nakito has to war right now, right? But I was not about to let her fool me like that. <laughs> Yes, so you know, I only work part time, so I can't cover you. Mm hmm, yeah. You have to pay for that shit, girl. <laughs> this fucking bossy bitch. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Ah, this fucking cunt. Oh, come on, girl. Okay, I could give you some food, but not this bitch. Ah, die from starvation. Fuck. Oh. 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 <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my gosh, she looks so 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 kind. You look at this, so lovely. Uh, she's melting my cat. Ah, come on, Akito, give her some food. But no, Kikari, she's a bitch. Ah, sorry, guys, fuck. This was almost too much to handle. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate Hikari! She's taking advantage of Saya! Ah. <laughs> this bitch, she's going to buy some food for Saya. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Looks like Hikari gave in before I did. I suppose this is what they meant by the hunter becoming the hunted. <laughs> Oh man. Saya said somewhat troubled by Hikari's reaction. Mm. Alright. Ah, come on, girl. You have to eat something because you are so skinny. It doesn't look like you will be sharing one with Hikari. Mm. Ah, get fat, bitch. That was Hikari for you. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Oh, this is surprising coming from Honoka. Mm, well, she's serious, I guess. What about Orihime? Oh. I feel that if she shared with anyone, it would be Orihime. Oh? Where is she? Oh, okay. She is giving her some lessons right now about the Star Merope. Orihime broke into a speech while staring out at the night sky. プレアデスの神話はご存知かしらうん、よく知らない。いや、ならば少しだけ語って差し上げましょう。プレアデスの七姉妹は巨人アトラスと妖精プレヨーネとの間に生まれました。おお。彼女たちはとても仲良しで、
just like I expect of both of them. Yeah, that was delicious! Corona said as she finished and relaxed a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. She's Merope. Merope, the triangle ice star. <laughs> Sorry. She was still as intense as always, even after eating. Orihime's stories must be really awakened something within her. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Looks like you had fun then. Hmm? Yeah, Orihime really has a way with words, so that's no surprise. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, and it sounds so sexy, you know. I love her voice so much. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Orihime. Damn it, this will be a pretty difficult choice, guys. What the fuck? Damn! Who the hell do I have to pick? Saya, the cute little girl? Or Orihime, the sexy and busty one. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> ah. Fuck you, bitch! Okay, sorry! <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this girl! I thought it had only been a few moments of conversations, it appeared that Corona was already a zealous Orihime's follower. Oh, man! Yeah. She's the biggest Orihime fan, you know? <laughs> oh my god, girl! Uh, Alright! Well, you're competing with her right now, girl, because I'm in a very fucking tough in the situation. I don't know who I will pick for my first route. You or her? Damn! Oh my god, guys! Damn it! This will be pretty difficult. Oh uh, my god, Saya! Oh my god, Orihime. I'm sorry for saying oh my god too much, guys, but I don't know who I'm going to pick. Ugh. Yeah, she's the kawaii, yeah, the cuteness girl of this game. It sounds like they are comparing two, two different things here, but Hikari just won't stop until everyone sees her favorite little Saya as number one of everything. Alright, you are cheering for her. That's cool. But you're still a bitch. Yeah, and she's cheering for Orihime because she doesn't like Saya. Yeah, because you see her as your rival. Oh my god, now we are fighting. Damn, and she's turning to a viper. Look at her teeth. <laughs> Listen to this voice, what the hell? You sound like a fucking snake. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, suddenly it was like a fight between two predators. <laughs> ah, look at this, guys. Ah, this is cool. <sighs> to -do, to -do, to -do. Yeah. Look at this pick. Ah, it looks so cool. I would love to put between them some words like versus here. Great, that's cool. You know, they both have pretty nice voices. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Akito. But Saya has a very cute voice, and Rihime has a sexy one. So you get my point, right? Saya is a pretty nice and beautiful girl. Yeah, very sweet. While Rihime is a sexy one. And quiet. Mature. And with very, very nice and juicy melons. Fuck, sorry guys, fuck, yeah! <laughs> ah, shut up, little bitch. <laughs> Who do I betray? Yeah. 
I was just being perfectly honest, yeah? It would have been hard to pick one of the other. Oh, you can say that shit again, dude, because who am I going to pick? <laughs> this guy. Alright, dude, you're feeling how I feel right now. That's great. Saya. Orihime. Saya, Orihime, Saya, Orihime, Saya. Oh! This shit is blowing my mind, dudes. <sighs> Come on. Oh. What is it? Alright. That meant that she, the seventh stat, wouldn't be included. Oh. I wonder if Corona understood the significance behind that. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't notice this shit too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, this fucking cunt. Hikari's karate chop lands hard on Corona's head. Again? Oh my god, you know, I would like to kick her ass right now. <laughs> ah, sorry girl. Yeah, you know, I think when I'm gonna do your room, I'm gonna kick the shit of you. <sighs> ah. You know where you are hitting, huh? Nejugu? <laughs> ah. She's not that Jogu. You did a pretty bad move. Ah. Alright, oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh, I don't put that in sky girl. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Stop doing that shit, please. And look at her hand. She looks like she's saluting the flag. Yeah, like a fucking military guy. Oh my god. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> oh my god, now she's pissed off. <laughs> and Hikari was ready to lash out again with a flurry of chops. <laughs> Oh? Why? She was beating Corona on the head this time instead. Oh, okay, you're not angry. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah, don't be a bitch, please. <laughs> she continued petting her. Hikari seems more like a big sister to her. Ah, uh, so so. Hikari <laughs> chan! Oh, okay, now you say Hikari. That's great, Corona. What? Yeah. Alright, yeah. <laughs> it seems like Corona was already enjoying herself. This was probably just what she'd been looking for when she joined us. Mm hmm. Oh my god, <laughs> she is still saying nicknames to Akito. Ooh. Yeah, girl, you will, don't worry. Yeah. And so our work on the Dobsonian and preparations for the event came together steadily. Once we had the date set for Christmas Eve, everyone was really able to focus and get things done. The one day towards the end of the semester as we're finishing up our work. Oh! What is it? We finished the telescope? Oh. Come on, show me again! Yeah, come on! 
All above gas are the large circular security wrap package resting before us. Here it goes then. Oh yeah, this cheat, yeah. I pulled away the packing material to reveal the newly caught primary mirror. The ancient one evil eye, previously a big piece of junk, had come back to reborn as a perfectly smooth. But look at these guys. I don't know what the hell are they talking about, but it looks the same. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that you need. That should be it, yeah. Keisuke from Morumisawa was in charge of construction, so I couldn't really say for sure, but I was pretty confident. Yeah, that's right, little Saya. Yep, you got it. Yatta! Yeah, Yatta. Oh my god, when she's with that pose, the only thing I can see are her teeth. Look at that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, ah, come on, guys. What the hell am I gonna do right now? Oh, I'm so worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, do you want to go to a military school, girl? Why are you doing your arm like that? Yeah, like you are saluting the flag. <laughs> Narue was here with us today, so Hikari took pictures with her phone instead. The coating on the lens really was something else. Looking at our reflection on the perfectly smooth surface, you wouldn't have believed that we have made it ourselves. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, Xaya. Mm. Let's talk with Keisuke soon about when we can finally put this thing together. It was finally some season, so we really need to get this thing done. Oh, alright. Yeah, eh, listen. Eh, eh. <laughs> I love her voice. Yeah, Yeah? <laughs> listen. <laughs> I love her voice. You know, it sounds really cute. <laughs> With that, we finally had the last piece of our plants. Oh man. Oh, we are here. Ah, oh, we finished the episode, but. <laughs> oh, okay. A flashback? Alright, that's cool. Okay, this is the. Yeah. This is the, the time when we were looking at the stars in the first episode. Oh my god, with this music. Wow, it really does have rings. They go all the way around the planet, too. Cool. Huh? Relax, geez, here. <sighs> yeah, shut up, bitch. Let me listen to this shit. Come on. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, I love this chorus. <laughs> yeah, for reason he said to her, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, guys, fuck, but I love this part. Oh man, I love this background music, you know? It's my favorite from this game. But I mean, is this the part when we were looking at the stars in the first episode? Or another day? Yeah, oh, you're right, awesome. Is that black line there the Kassinik Division? Oh. Okay, they're using telescope, right? Uh, she's a bitch all the time, you know? Yeah, as I told you. Once a bitch, always a bitch. This planet has ears. Oh. That's what Galileo Galilei said when he first looked at Saturn. Right? He constructed his very own 30x magnific magnification telescope and was the first person to look so far out into the night sky. And then, only half a century later, Huygens discovered the, that those ears were actually a ring. He said to be one of the inventors of the aerial telescope. 
Next, Cassini discovered that the ring actually had spaces in between. Alright, when observing this Cassini division, he used a gigantic 46 meters long aerial telescope. And now we were looking at those very same rings with this tiny telescope. Mm. Mm. Yeah, listen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wanted to repeat that part. Mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, okay. I can do this shit here. Yeah. 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 I love her voice, you know? I want to repeat her voice! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now we can see with our very own eyes stars that sit across the vastness of space. And we can see them so clearly too. It's almost like magic. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it would look like if an even large telescope. Oh yeah, like Subaru. That name is the name of the car, right? Yeah, remember that. Mm. Mm. Here we were looking out at the stars that Galileo could only have dreamt of seeing and it still wasn't enough for us. Mm. But he must have felt the same way. Him, Hudnes, Cassini and every other astronomer. I was sure that they all wished they could look out even further mm -hmm. and see it all even closer if only there was a telescope that could bring the stars to our very hands and then they got the book from Miharu and they saw that they could build their own telescope right yeah oh look at the clouds but first, the unbodable enemy of every student. Yeah, the rain, right? Oh my god. Yeah, but we are here in the present or the past? Yeah, the present, right? Because it's Hoshino Daichi school. Yeah. Final exams. Oh, you are talking about the final exams. Sorry, guys. Fuck. <laughs> Once these were out of the way, though, we would have a nice long winter break to look forward to. All right. The members of the Sister Stars Club were focused on their exams. While eagerly anticipating our stargazing event. The only thing we had left to do was tackle our test and maybe do a little sun dance for good luck or something. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Yeah, look at this. It reminds me of the weather right now because, you know, here in Peru is winter and it's so cold as fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what the hell is this? We look like a fucking alien with Aureola. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a ghost, right? This shit. <laughs> oh my god. It's true though. If we could get a storm to clear things out, we will all set. I drew a little Teru Teru sunshine amulet on the margin of my answer sheet. I wonder if it would be able to help us hold of the rain. The day for our stargazing event was Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. The day after our test and the last day of the semester. When was the last time I ever been so excited for Christmas? Ever since my parents passed away, it pretty much meant nothing to me. Mm. We keep our eyes on the subtle changes in the weather reports as, as we made more and more Teru Teru Sunshine amulets each day. All oh, right, Teru Teru Sunshine. Yeah, look at this shit. Uh, and then one day a gentle winter rain washed in with gloomy clouds overhead to reflect the gloom and doom of our test. But I hate this fucking weather, you know? 
Ah. All right, yeah, the sun, finally. But in the end, our second semester ends in beautiful sunshine. Yeah, that's right. Are you ready? I'm gonna let's go. All right, dude. But I'm gonna end right here, yeah? This is a good place to save. We're gonna continue in the next episode, okay, guys? Yeah, Iro, come on. Yeah, great. Ah, shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's Hikari again. Okay, let's see the pig. Uh, what is it? <clears throat> what is it here? Oh, nice. Yeah, look at this pig. Oh, man, I love it so much. Uh, yeah, she's so cute, you know? Mm, yeah, we have to know a bit more this girl. Yeah. Yeah, you know, she's growing a bit on me, but anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, her special expressions are so nice, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that shit. Let's see this one. Uh, I think we got new tracks, I don't know. Oh my god, I have to check out my, my videos, you know? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue with our story and let's see what our friends will do for the preparations of their meeting. So like, give me a comment and subscribe and stay tuned.